Hi, I, me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I just did a video about removing or making a picture better for a t-shirt. And then the gentleman that actually asked for the question uh, sent me a picture. He happened to send me one with a uh, console in the back and the dogs laying on shag carpet. About as hard as you can get to remove the background, but I did it, and I did I did this in like under four minutes and got all the background out if you need help. And also, don't forget to use 3D paint to remove background. On this particular point, uh, it didn't do the best job because of all the shag carpeting, but at least got you a start where you could clean that up a little bit more. And I'll put a link to that video I made a while back on that 3D. But my suggestion would be on to print a t-shirt. Let's just make a, a graphic that would look like a t-shirt, make it blue. And then take your dog and put it, well, just put on the t-shirt, let alone, you know, just the uh, go to order back of page or front of page. And just alone, the, you know, dog by itself would look cool, especially if you clean it up a little bit more than I did on this. But then another suggestion would be to take your dog, which is now basically an outline, and use a smart fill tool to fill that in. Nudge that over. And then you could do a lot with this that I couldn't do in the previous video. Let's go to Effects, Creative, Vignette, and we'll use a circle. And then we can change the parameters the offset and the fade to get it where you want it or how well you want it to fade. I don't ever get to use this, so I don't really know what I'm doing. There we go. Well, that's too much. So it doesn't look like a circle anymore. And then take your dog and put it in that spot and then take both of them and put them in front of the t-shirt. And to me, printed, that would look pretty cool. I mean, you could have any color. Another thing you could do maybe, and I'm just throwing suggestions out, put that dog in a dog bone and make, you know, if you use a smart fill tool, it's just gonna do that. But we could do the exact same thing with that dog bone that we did and you could make it any color you want it to. It doesn't have to be yellow. Go to object or go to effects, creative, vignette. And vignette that, well, that's too much. Because you can't even tell it's a dog bone. We just say okay. And then put the dog in it. And print that on a blue t-shirt. Let's get that, my dog bone frame out of the way. I guess it would, there we go. Now, I'm not a printer, but that to me would look pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.